talk to me. Talk, 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 talk. talk. Hey, I'm Sean, and welcome back to Snack and Chat, where we meet up to snack on good food and chat about life, love, relationships, or the lack thereof. So if you have something on your mind and you need to vent, you're going through some challenges. I ain't Dr. Phil, but you're in the right place because I'm here to be your new best friend, your confidant, with an objective point of view and always an appetite. Now give me a few minutes so I can get our snack. It's gonna be delicious. never to shop when you're hungry because you just might buy the whole store. Well, I didn't follow those directions and I went to Trader Joe's and upon getting my nuts and berries and my almond milk as I usually do, I stumbled across this. Now, being a little ghetto like I am, I thought it was some pizza, but it's really a French style flatbread. I popped that boy in the oven at 450, pulled her out in 10 minutes, bit into this bad girl, and it was heaven. Must be missing angel. Woo! Now for the question. Dear Sean, I recently started dating this guy and we were totally in sync until recently when we went out dancing. Can you believe he was dancing on the upbeat? Total deal breaker. Am I being shallow? In the words of my roommate Antonique, I'll feel you. I'll feel you. <laughs> no, seriously, I can totally relate. And I'm not even talking on a romantic level. But I used to make an exception. If I got to know the person first and they had a great personality, maybe then I could forgive you. If you're cute. Now being the person that I am who likes to understand human behavior, I took it upon myself to research the depths of the rhythm of the challenge through the years. And through my observation, I, I came up with a hypothesis. Tell me if you agree. Give me a beat! Okay. Oh, my fingers? To clap like this. Uh huh. That's right. If you hadn't noticed, we're clapping over the down beat. Now, for the up beat, we have to give a little credit because at least they are on beat. Now, what I've realized is that the up beaters are reactive to the down beat. Let me demonstrate. Always one with the music. Oh, he may be old school, but he gets down, gets funky, and loose on the downbeat. That's right. Woo! Work it. Uh huh. Aha! Now, Ginger, on the other hand, looked like she's dancing to another song. But what I've discovered with people who appear to be completely offbeat is that they're reacting to everything they hear and they're just overwhelmed. Their body is experiencing what we call sensory overload. So it appears as if they have no sense of rhythm when in actuality, they're reacting to everything they hear. Woo, go Ginger! Uh-huh. So you see, everyone has a soul. We just all use it differently. Easy living with Sean. Now for a little food for thought. Don't ever give up on a person that could be a blessing in your life for trivial, shallow reasons such as hair color height, or the inability to dance on beat. Because you see, you never know. That person could be your soulmate. <laughs> I don't know where all the time went, but I really have to go. You know what to do. If you've got some questions, shoot me some email at snackandchat.gmail.com. If you want to see more episodes, go to the YouTube channel, The Sean Earl. Go to Trader Joe's and grub on some good old flatbread. And until we meet again, you know what to do. <laughs>